I'll kill them. Every last one. Um, hey, excuse me? Well, you remember my name. That makes me happy. Hey, did you hear about that hero who saved all those people last week? Pretty cool, wasn't it? Everyone in class has been talking about it. I'm sure it's probably exhausting hearing all about it, but I figured I'd ask, since no one has actually really talked to me about it. A lot of it has been on social media too, huh? That's cool. I heard the heroes have been doing a lot lately. All of them have. Man, it's so crazy to think we live in a world with a whole organization of heroes going around helping people and villains for them to battle against. That hero in particular has caught my eye. I've seen them almost every day. On social media and TV and stuff. They're amazing. Oh, right, yeah, um, um, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something after school. Maybe karaoke or shopping, or maybe the movies? You can't? I see. Is it because you don't want to hang out with someone like me? Something else? Ah, uh, I see. Is it that boyfriend of yours? You have a lot of things to do. Oh, I see. No worries. I understand if you have other things to do. I wouldn't want to stop you from doing those things. I mean, it makes me happy that you even remembered my name. No one else does, at least. Haha, <laughs> true. We have been sitting next to each other since the start of the year, so it would definitely sting if you didn't know it. <laughs> All right, you take care then. I'll be watching. I, I mean, um, I'll be waiting. Waiting for the next time we can hang out. So just let me know, okay? Gotcha, thanks. Wow, you really showed that guy who's boss, huh? Bravo, hero, bravo. Not safe here? Oh, don't worry. With you around, I'm perfectly safe. Well, you are one of the best heroes in the city, after all. Who saved people from a plane crash, car crashes, muggings, and even beat villains on the daily? <laughs> Silly, I have been watching you. Every day. Even when you aren't doing hero stuff. You always put that heroic effort in class. <laughs> so this is what you really had to do. I'm glad I didn't end up stopping you from doing this. Since you beating up my henchmen allowed me to meet you here anyway. Yeah, the guy whose ribs you broke is my henchman. Well, technically he's my dad's henchman. Ah, <sighs> yes, unfortunately my father is a villain. But in terms of the two of us, it's the perfect outcome. You, the hero, and me, the villain. It's perfect. Not only do we get to see each other at school, but after school. Isn't that perfect? You don't seem that impressed. Well, yeah, I'm a villain, but I haven't done that much villain stuff. My father keeps trying to see if I would take over his mantle and work with him. But I want to enjoy my school life and youthful romance. Mm hmm? <sighs> I've dreamed of this. You, the hero, and me, the villain. A forbidden love that breaks the bounds of social standards. Ever since the first day of school at the entrance exam. Do you remember? Those bullies picked on me. 
They were beating me up and making fun of me. But then you came along and saved me. School's hero. <laughs> that day was not the only day. You boosted the class's morale on the sports day. Helped out the student council president when she got into financial trouble. I mean, heck, you even started dating that good-for-nothing punk who's actually a villain. <laughs> of course I know that. You know, he's not exactly very sneaky about it. Plus, he's a terrible villain. I've been stalking you ever since you saved me. I learned your secret identity, all your likes and dislikes. I also truly learned how much of a hero you are. Much more than most heroes in this city. Some of them would look and laugh at someone like me when I needed help. But you're different. You are a true hero down to your core. Ah, but you see, that's how my master plan comes into play. Since you were dating a villain, you must like villains and have a thing for them. So all I need to do is become the villain of your dreams, right? No, 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 no. I know it's all true. Why else would you date that lowlife over me? So I held off on doing anything villainous. Played the nice guy to remain in the background. Yeah, it stung being the one to watch people steal you from me. But it will all be worth it. Once I commit my first villainous act, you will surely love me over them. That's when this comes into play. My father and his scientists have been working hard on this device. Safe to say my father's true identity allows him to have a lot of money and connections, which made it possible for him to start building this. What does it do, you ask? <laughs> You see, this device allows history to be rewritten. While at the moment it only allows minor events to be changed. Things that won't alter things too dramatically. But just imagine it. I would be able to rewrite history to put me in the place of that good-for-nothing joke of a boyfriend. I'd make sure his life is changed in every terrible way to imagine. All your fake friends that surround you that poison your mind to take you away from me would never have met you. You'd only need me. Doesn't that sound like an amazing world? Oh. So you will still try to fight me. <laughs> Cute. But unfortunately you will have to deal with my henchmen. It's futile. My family has hired many people to assist us. You will not get through all of them before the machine. Huh? More heroes? No, no. Why did you bring them here? This was supposed to be our origin story. No. What have you done? You'll ruin everything. If the machine gets damaged mid-startup, it would explode. No. My love, my hero, get away from here quick before the machine... Heroes ruined my chances to be with my beloved. Heroes. Those fake heroes ruined everything. <laughs> heroes. I'll kill them. Every last one. I will make you mine. 
whatever it takes. This just in. Reports of heroes going missing has been spreading like wildfire around the city. Some believe they have been kidnapped. Others think that they have simply retired with the drop-in villains as of late. Will this be the end of heroes? Or is this the calm before the storm? It's strange how all those heroes have gone missing, huh? Yeah, it's not much of a big deal. I mean, it makes my life easier. I know, I know, we agreed on no villainy. But I can't help it. It's in my blood. I highly doubt that guy from before is the reason. From what you told me, I'd be surprised if there was anything left of them. The Hero Association took that machine away, and are studying it, right? I can't believe he'd try to do that. I mean, talk about jealous, huh? And desperate, too. If I was there, I'd beat him to a pulp. Shall we test that theory? We meet again, darling. Shall we call it sheer determination for you to be mine for the reason being I'm still alive? Such harsh words. You might really kill me if you keep saying such things. He's not getting back up. I've pierced his heart. He'll be dead soon. I did say that I would make him suffer for taking you away from me, did I not? My, my, such resilience. So this is your power. Speed regeneration. I knew such a power existed, but figured they'd be a lab experiment by now. <laughs> you won't be able to beat me that easily. And you are not taking them away from me. Then by all means, try and prove your worth to have them in your life. Stay back and run if you need to. Futile, a good effort. I have often wondered what the extent of the speed regeneration power is. But shall we play doctors and test this theory, darling? I won't have you getting in my way this time, dear. Why don't I show you how weak this pathetic person calling themselves a villain really is? Watch, dear. Don't look away. This is the person you devoted your life to. And I shall rip them apart, just how he ripped you away from me. Ah, so it seems that the regeneration isn't all it's cracked up to be. Shame. Well, now that he's out of the way, we can finally be together. People will stop me. Sorry to say, my dear, but I do not think that will be the case. But I will explain everything after we leave this place. Stop squirming, dear. I do not wish to pull out your hair. Hush now and come along. You don't belong here anyway. Hmm. I will not leave anything to chance. Burn it down. Didn't I tell you before, dear? I will make you mine. This time, I will do anything it takes to make that come true. 
Why would I let you say goodbye to someone who isn't even worthy to breathe the same air as you, let alone hear your words? A monster? Yes, I suppose that's what I look like now, isn't it? I suppose to live in a world of monsters, one must become a monster to rid the world of them. Questions later. Sleep now. So, you've finally woken up. I was beginning to think you'd never wake up. I'm not quite used to this power of mine, so I was worried I hit you too hard. While parts of my body were semi-restored, they say that my mind will forever be damaged. <laughs> Perhaps you are right. Perhaps I was always deranged. However, I know for certain that the one sane thing in my mind is my love for you. Say what you will, but my mind won't change. I will make you mine, even if I have to break you in the process. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I will do anything to make you mine. I've killed heroes and villains alike to make a path directly to you. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty this time. Yes, the disappearance is all me. Observe. Bear witness to my own collection of heroes and villains, trophies to prove that nothing and no one can stand in my way of being with you. Heroes, villains, are they really so different? The heroes stand on a pedestal, giving people false hope that their lives will be different. But there are so many things that heroes fail to do. Purge corrupt government, stop global warming, stopping disease and famine. I'm well aware of the fact that heroes are mortal. But when gifted with the powers one can only compare to gods from fiction, the heroes can do better. The villains attempt to pick up the slack in their own way, but once you reach a new low, it's hard to believe that a world like this can be fixed. So I figured that by purging heroes and villains from this world, there will be no one to stop me, and no one to get in my way. Thinking about it now, this is no different than the school, is it? The student council trying to make the school a better place, but look down their noses at people like me. And the bullies that make my life hell. In the end, my life is never made better. Never changed. Which is why I took my life into my own hands. If I can change the world, then what is stopping me from changing fate? Destiny, even. Perhaps. But once you have seen the light of death with your own eyes, you gain a new perspective. One I think you should share with me. Which is why I will change my original plan. If I cannot make you fall for me by becoming the ideal villain, I will make you the ideal villain. By using the machine the heroes have been fixing, I will rewrite the history of this world and make the great hero of this city into a villain it will fear. But I will not stop there. <laughs> no, no. We will work together. Two people who share the same ideals, one only knowing fear and pain, the other saving them from that pain and offering them a new role in life. I will do what you did for me all that time ago. I will break you and make you fall for me and turn you into someone like me. Oh, we'll see about that. 
Sadly, it's hard to say such things when you have nothing left, not a shred of hope. I don't have what it takes to harm you in the present. <laughs> such a beautiful face filled with rage and hate. But soon it will be changed. Sorry, darling, but nothing you say will stop what's about to happen. A new timeline will be created. A perfect timeline. Just wait and you'll see. We will be together. No one in our way. And nothing to stop us. The perfect duo. I do owe you heroes a thank you for fixing this machine. And now there is no one to stop me. I will finish what I started. Well then, I'll be seeing you soon, darling. I can't wait to see what kind of face you will make when I'm the one holding my hand out to you. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. I love you. Time can be changed. Will I ever change? The past. It's certainly nostalgic to see it again. <laughs> now to get to business. Hmm? Oh, hello, da- I mean, hello, citizen. What can I do for you? Oh, this. Oh, n no, I'm not a hero. I'm... Actually, yes. Yes, I am indeed a hero. You're off to your college entrance exam ceremony, eh? Well, best be on your way then. Take care. Now to get to work. I believe my darling's parents should be working at their jobs now. Perfect to make everything fall apart. I'll make sure my darling's parents can pollute their minds with good deeds, and I'll make sure that their boyfriend never shows his face again to my darling. Drones, take care of the parents. The boyfriend is mine. Breaking news. Two people have just been killed in a terrible car crash. No one knows how it happened, but witnesses say they saw a large figure in the smoke, but police have been unable to identify it. I'm sorry about your parents. Y yeah it was too soon for them. Um, so, hey. And there you go. Ha, huh, figures you wouldn't want to talk to me. Hmm? Oh, da uh, it's you from before. Hello again. I, uh, it is everything all right? You're hugging me. Um, is there something I can do? Listen to you. Oh, sure, yeah. Of course, we can go sit on the bench. Lead the way. Perfect. I see. So your parents have passed away. I'm terribly sorry about that. Do you have anyone who you can contact or speak to? A close friend, perhaps? Someone you liked isn't returning their calls, eh? You wanted to ask them out? Hmm. Strange. I believe I saw this person with another girl, leaving town, if I'm not mistaken. How do I know them? Oh, uh, I happened to see you together when I was doing my hero work. I figured you were close, and I'm good with faces, which is how I remembered seeing you again today. <laughs> yes, I am positive it was them. I'm sure they're long gone by now, I'm afraid.
Yes, college boys are evil sometimes, but I'm sure there might be someone close to you who's trying to lend a hand. A classmate, perhaps? Hmm. Well, keep an open mind. Someone close to me once said, The world is not as empty as you think. It's how you perceive it. If you're always looking down, it's bound to seem like no one is there. But if you keep your chin up, you'll find that the world has a lot more people there for you in it. <laughs> yes, that person was very wise. Me? Oh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Scars? Ah, uh, I see. Yes, these are from a long time ago. But these physical scars mean nothing. It's the mental ones that last for life. M me? Talk about it. Uh... There's no need. After all, this is all about you, not me. You're the one who's sad, my love. I see. Do I really look like that? <laughs> no offense taken. I suppose it has been a while since I lifted my chin up. My beloved betrayed me. Gave me hope, then dropped me. I was crushed. But now, now I can rebuild things with them. Now that I'm here, I can change all of it. Change them. Rewind things to make them see things my way. Not a good way of thinking. <laughs> my dear, it's the only way of thinking. If you have someone close to you, you do anything to keep them there. Otherwise, what's the point? And if they leave you, why, you steal them back, of course. <laughs> what? What's that look for? Oh, <laughs> quite the hugger, aren't you? I... I don't need it, really. Okay, I'm not that broken. Just a little bit. And you've always been an expert on this kind of stuff? <laughs> Seems like you're more of a hero than I am. <laughs> well, thank you. Now then, you should be getting back to your classes. I'll be all right. Thank you for your words and hugs. Hmm, I wonder. I think it's time to have a talk with younger me. Ah, uh, 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 who, who are you? I'm you, from the future. We need to talk. Uh, uh, okay. Now then, our darling will be coming back to class soon. I need you to be the one to open out a hand to them. Be there for them. Show them there's nothing else without you. Shower them with love. Do I make myself clear? Uh, uh, our darling? Oh my gods, the classmate we have been crushing on. Does that make it clearer? I can't believe I was this dense. They are everything to us. Make it that way. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I can do that for them. They have nothing left because of us. Our plan is to make them ours forever. However, originally we would have made them a villain... But now, that's changed. I now realize that them being a villain is too much of a punishment to our beloved. So, you will love them, and you will both be together as normal people. W what about you? After this meeting, I will cease to exist. The timeline has changed, and things will be different. 
but if we truly love them, we will make them ours. The right way. Uh, uh, okay. Good. Now go. H hey! Wanna have lunch together? Huh? Who was I talking to? Um... I don't... I don't remember. Uh, anyway, so, lunch? <laughs> awesome. Hmm. I wonder what my darling is doing now. The timeline will change, and that darling might not even exist anymore. But I guess this is my way of changing things. I love them, and I was blinded by rage and betrayal. But I love them, and I finished my goal of changing time. Making them understand me, and getting rid of anything in the way. <laughs> I have no regrets. Goodbye, darling. Well, see you soon. Hey, you darling. I thought we could go to that cupcake shop later. Awesome. And if that store owner flirts with you, I'll be sure to break their nose. <laughs> Hey, I'm just protective. You are too. Who knows what it'd be like if I didn't date you, <laughs> and you didn't date me. But I guess I'll hold my tongue just for you, as long as you do the same. <laughs> as long as you are paying for the cupcakes. 